monkey ran off to cause even more mischief. The end. Hmm. Okay. That's it? Yeah, I know. Kind of disappointing, huh? I thought the monkey was gonna fly in space. I guess that is the sequel. What did you think, mister? Can you read us a book about ponies? Ponies? Yeah. Maybe next time, okay? But for right now, it is your bedtime. So you... <laughs> and you... are going to bed. The last one read us the pony book. The last one? The last babysitter. Oh. Well, why isn't she here tonight? She had a... accident. An accident? Mama said... I hope you two are running to get ready for bed. Nighty night, you two. Sweet dreams. Nighty night. Strode. Yes, things are going great. I just put the little troublemakers to bed. Oh my god. Is anyone hurt? Okay, you're on your way home. All right, well, I will uh, hold down the fort until you get back. Okay, see you soon. The train derailed just outside of Clinton. Eyewitnesses reported a massive fireball. Many residents of the local area have already been removed. Now, representatives from the railroad have not yet been reached for comment. Many local residents left shaken. Now, this train accident is being deemed one of the worst in the state's history. There's no telling yet how this is going to impact the local community. Megan? Ricky? Megan? Ricky? Ricky! You scared me! You need to go to bed. 
Why are you dressed like that? Hey, hey. You better be running to your room. Ricky? Ricky, this isn't funny. Are you gonna finish that or what? Yep. Are you gonna do that today? Yeah. You eat too fast. You eat too slow. You got shit to do, man. I don't wanna be here all day. It'd be nice to get home by dark for once. Maybe if you worked a little faster, we'd get home at a decent time. I work slow. Yeah. Really? Uh huh.
Clean up in aisle six. Afternoon, folks. What are you kids up to today? Concert in Columbus. Set it up that way. Ah, I've got gotcha. you. I made the head. Yeah, me too. You two have fun in there. Mike, mm. check it out. What do you think? I think the answer is still no. I'm not marrying you. It's for Sarah, idiot. I know that. We've been together for almost two years, and I think it's time. You, you and I have been together for I don't even know how many years anymore. I've been trying to figure out when the right time is, and I feel like tonight's the night. <laughs> She's going to say yes. Let me see. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to enjoy life at this point. It's pretty. You haven't thought about it with Jill? No. No, it's been like eight months. I have not thought about it with Jill. Are you sure you want to do it on this trip? Yes, that's my plan. Uh, please, please don't do it on this trip, dude. Why? Because you two are going to start crying, and then Jill's going to start crying, and then I'm not going to cry. I'm going to look like an asshole. So what? It's not about you. It's about Sarah. You know how much I love her. No, no, I... You guys are great together. She's a great girl. I got nothing but good things to say. All right. If you are serious about this, I do have one piece of advice for you. What's your one piece of advice, Mike? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> hey, my water glass left. Do you think I get a refill? I'll be there in a minute. You boys have fun in there? Brett just had something important he wanted to tell me. Dude, he's wanted to make sure he was still bigger than me. Sorry about that. Well, uh, you're as quick as a fox. You know, try to be. Just let me know if I can get you guys anything else. Just the bill, please. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> Ma'am, could you tell us how to get to the 137? We're trying to get to Columbus, but my phone keeps going in and out. He does that here, sweetheart. It's called Southern Ohio. You ladies heading to Columbus? Yes, we are. I can get you there a lot quicker. You're going to take the highway south, two exits. Going to turn right, go down two streets and turn left. That takes you right to Route 137. Got that? That sounds like it makes sense. Really? Hey, is there a problem here? No problem. I apologize for some of the trailer trash that passes along through here. Now I had to treat a lady. You guys are heading out to Columbus, if I heard correctly? Yeah, trying to make it to a concert. Well, I wouldn't take the 137. There's some construction down there, and I've uh, gotten some reports of some delays. I just wouldn't chance it in a hurry. Do you know a better way? Well, there's a faster way. It takes you through some small towns, but it's pretty easy to miss a uh, turn and get lost. But it is faster. To you, though. I'm pretty sure we want to yeah. get there fast as possible. Do it. All right, well, let me see your map here. All right, that should be easy enough for you guys to figure out. Thanks, Sheriff. We appreciate the help. Just wouldn't screw around any of those small towns, though. It's pretty easy to get sidetracked. Yeah, you've seen one backwater town, you've seen them all. Like, what? It's Ohio. Well, suit yourself. You guys have a safe trip.
She's a hillbound And then you woke up in the morning and then you went, <laughs> you went to your sock drawer and it was soaking wet and you were like, no. Oh. <laughs> but you didn't realize, babe, that you were so drunk you had woken up in the middle of the night to take a piss and you thought that your sock drawer was the toilet. My sock drawer is this tall on me. Like, I have no idea how I even got up that high. Wait, is that the same night that Brad went to bed wearing that ridiculous hat? Yes. Yes, yes it yes. is. The furry hat, the babushka hat. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Brad that drunk. And you know all the ride on the devil's train. I need to get gas soon. Well, I can see if I can find a gas station on my phone. Baby. What's wrong? Uh, I can't find my phone. What do you mean you can't find your phone? I mean I can't find my phone. Great. Oh, shit. Guys, will you look and see if my phone is back there by any chance? Shit. Babe, pull over. I've got to have my phone. Yeah. It's got my credit card and my ID. It's all my shit I know, I know, I know, I know. I mean, I pulled it out when we asked the waitress for directions. Oh, shit. I put it on the counter, and then that creepy guy walked up. I must have left it there. Shit! It's okay. I'm sure she picked it up, and she's probably just waiting for us to go back and get it. If we go back now, we're gonna miss the show. Babe, what am I supposed to do? It's got my ID I in it. I don't know. I'm just saying. Guys, why don't we just call the phone? See if the waitress has it. If she does, we just pick it up on the way back from the concert. That's fine. Hello? Hi. My friend lost her phone, and this is her number. Yeah, so I believe I have your friend's phone. Did you find it in the diner? Hello? Are you there? Where are you? I don't know. We're on some road. We just want to get the phone back, please. Where are you? Guys, where the hell are we? Who's on the phone? I don't know. It's just some guy keeps asking me where we are. We're like 10 miles east of Route 37. I think we're on Bradley. We're about 10 miles east of Route 37 on Bradley Road. I can meet you and return your phone. Oh, well, why don't we just meet you at the diner? No, keep driving. You'll pass a sign before the railroad tracks. Turn left, go into town, and meet me at 5th and Main. I'll be waiting. Uh, okay, so we drive down to where? Hello? Hello? He hung up. Well, what'd he say? He said that there's a town just up ahead at an intersection, and he's gonna meet us there. That's awesome. Let's do it. Come on, we're already late. This is where the guy wanted to meet. He better show. He's got all my info. I can't believe I fucking left it there. I'll try calling him again and see if he's close. To see where he's at. Oh, I have no signal, guys. Do you have one? No. Nothing. He's gonna show. I can't believe this is happening. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't 
get it. Where is everybody? I don't know, babe. It's like... It's like they all just left. I mean, he has to show up, right? I mean, why the hell else would he tell us to meet him here? Let's just chill for a bit. This guy's got to show up. Go sit by the gazebo. That's a good idea. Anybody want some? Need to relax. I can't believe I left my damn phone. It's fine, seriously. Don't worry about it. This guy's gonna show up. Listen, baby, I am not in the mood. It's not what you said on our first date. Oh, well, that's when I thought you were still going places. You thought he was going places. How much did you smoke that night? Went to college. Should have stayed gone. No, oh, poor baby. Let's leave the poor baby alone. No. Oh. Share that? Oh, no. It's gonna smoke all my weed. Yep. You're a dick. Yes, I am. I am a dick. But speaking of dicks, fucking wig is better pay us on time, man. I know, I'm getting sick of it too. Did you see his wife today? Oh my Did god. Did you see her? It's I can live in between those fun bags. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. It doesn't make sense. What do you mean it doesn't make sense? It doesn't make any fucking sense. I, fun be... ba- Who says fun bags? Really? Yeah, it doesn't make what any sense. What are you, sense. 12? Fuck you. We need to get laid. Pull over. I gotta take a piss. Seriously, hurry up, dude. That chick's gonna kill me if I'm late again. You're just gonna have to sit there and wait for me then, aren't you? You're funny. Hurry up! Hey, Billy? What? Can you come out here and hold it? It's getting heavy. (laughs) You're an idiot. You know that? You're an idiot. Find it yet? I don't know. Oh, wait, there it is with your mom's lipstick all over it. I think I'm gonna cut through Clinton. Why well, do you wanna go that way? I can never go that way. I think it's gonna be faster with all the construction. Isn't that where all those people went missing? I don't know. Who cares? This is ridiculous. Where the hell is everybody? We're gonna miss the goddamn show. I don't know. What do you wanna do? I'm sick of waiting around. We need to get going, and we still need to find a gas station. God, this fucking sucks. Babe, I'm sorry, but we need to go. That's right. This is ridiculous. We can try to call your phone again when we get service. It's fine. I'll worry about it later. Let's just go. out of here. Un-fucking-believable. What's wrong, babe? 
Try it again. Man. Are we out of gas? It's not even turning over. It doesn't sound like no gas to me. It sounds more like a dead battery. Shit. We are not going anywhere like this. What do you mean? I don't know. What do you think? Shit. Oh, well, what the hell are we gonna do? I don't know. Maybe we should try and find a payphone or something. I mean, how did this even happen? It just happened. Hey, excuse me. Hey, man, we're trying to find a phone. Can you help us out? What the hell is that? Hello? Hello? You have a phone? I don't think he wants to be bothered. Guys, can we please just keep going? She's right. We should go. Yeah, but... It was just... It was just there. Babe, come on. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Disappear. Hello. Hello. Where is it? The place is a ghost town. Down. Well, who the hell runs around hey, in the middle of the hey, goddamn street? Hey, right? Chill. It's okay. Is she all right? Yeah. You guys good? Thank God. Did you guys have a cell phone? Our car broke down. No, my cell phone's dead. Where? He was standing right there. It's okay. Hey, Jill, it's okay.
I don't hear anything. We need to keep moving. I can't. We need to keep moving. I can't. I can't. We have to. We have to. We have to stop this. Get the hell out of here. Wait. We need to stick together. Check this RV. Make sure it's there. Let me stay here. Okay.
Where is it? Here's it. Here is my trooper. What the fuck did they do with it? We gotta go now. Come, come on, we gotta follow. Doing here. We need to find Jill now. I am trying to help you. I think he may know she is. We need to go inside now. Come, come. Come on. Let's just go. We appreciate the hospitality, but we can't stay here. We need the police. <laughs> Listen, you crazy old bastard. No cops, you got it. No cops. No cops. So there's no police around here. County Sheriff, you just don't come around very much. I don't get it. There's one cop in town? Where's everybody at? First, eat. Yeah. This guy is clearly insane. Let's just leave him be and go find Jill. Look, I know this man's been crazy, and we will find Jill. But first, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Listen, this guy knows something. Hey. Hey. We're gonna make it through this, I promise. You know, I never even liked country music that much anyway. I know. I just wanted us to have a fun night. Me too. At least we're in this together. Could be worse. We could be eating that food. What is that? You gonna eat that? No. That's you in this picture.
with your family? A long time ago. What happened? Clowns. This town used to be a train hub years ago. It was a nice place to live. Before the big wreck. After that, there wasn't much to it. There wasn't much sense in sticking around, you know. The jobs left. Folks soon followed. The people that stayed, they mostly just keep to themselves. And some girls went missing about that same time. Between the wreck and the girls, people got spooked. What about the clowns? The clowns? Clowns are like a, like a pack of dogs, or ghosts, out in this town for years. You'll hear people whisper about them, but you won't hear them talk about them. Through the years, more and more people went missing. They never were able to catch anybody find anybody. Some people think the clowns don't exist. People say the people that went missing, it's because they just went off to find a better life. Get back here, you stupid dog! Son of a bitch! Motherfuck! Stupid dog! What are you looking at? Time, believe me. Uh, hey, listen, I gotta go. I'll talk to you Monday. Bye. <laughs> Asshole. The people are in denial. The people that live here. They lock their doors at night. The people that live here, they stay inside. The clowns own this town now. I heard rumors of clowns in this town, but I thought it was bullshit to scare people. I heard it all started with some crazy messed up family. I don't know nothing about that. What about other people that have come through here? And people that come through, they, they, they don't stay long. There's nothing here. Ones that do. <laughs> You've seen what could happen, eh? You said you knew where Joe was. Where is she? Yeah. I think... What was that? No. It can't be. What about Jill? Shh. We need to leave here. Now! Go! Come on!
I don't think I can hear him anymore.
Sunshine, get up! Dylan. What the hell? That's Jill's phone. How the hell does he have that? He was in the diner. What do you mean? I remember seeing this tattoo before. He was the bus boy. Mike, Mike wait. We gotta go. They're gonna come back looking for you. He's right. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Come on, Sarah. You're coming with us, right? With this bum leg, I'll just slow you down. Besides, this is still my home. Where did they take Jill? I'll write it down for you. Come on, let's go. We don't like dirty boys, do we? No, no, no. But we do like ponies, don't we? I love ponies. Favorite. You like ponies, don't you? You love ponies just like I do. Love you so much. My beautiful little porcelain doll. Can't be sad and it's pretty. Oh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> stopping how did he get here come on guys we need to keep moving just hold on something's wrong brad we need to get jill and get the fuck out of here brad brad uh, just stay in the truck brad brad uh, stay in the truck frank is that you Frank. Frank? Frank? Oh my god, Frank! God. They 
did this to you. Jesus. Oh my god. Ray, tell me what to do. Helping you was enough. coming in like this, but I need your help. There's been a murder. I need to find the police. Please, can you help me? Can you help me? What are you doing hanging out around here at night? Don't you know? It's dangerous playing outside at night. Bad things can happen. Bad things. I need help. Do you have a car? A car? <laughs> no use for a car. My son brings his mama everything she needs. Your son, that's great. I just need a car or a way out of here. I got separated from my friends. I think you should just stay with me. My son will help you. Yes, he will. When will he be here? Soon. Very soon. I think, I think we lost him. We have to find Brad. We have to find Jill. We'll send for the cop. Brad can take care of himself. He's your best friend! And what's your Jill? Brad had the directions. Fuck! All right. We gotta get back to town. Town? We need to get back to the truck! Those clowns are gonna be waiting for us. Town is the only place we all know that's where Brad will go, I promise you. Come on, we gotta go. Let's go. living here back during the train wreck and when those girls went missing word had it those girls were sticking their noses where they didn't belong not polite to do that is that right a mama has to protect her son a son has to protect his mom Still is, if the law has anything to say.
Your son's one of the clowns. He killed those girls. Don't you put that on Ricky. It wasn't little Ricky's fault what happened. He's a good boy. A very good boy. <laughs> Is that why Frank left you? After what happened? A mother has stronger ties than a father does. Always been. Always will be. And a mother always. Always has to protect her son. No matter what. That thing? It's worth a shot. All right, come on. All right, go, go.
Baby, can you hear me? Jill? Let me go. Let me go! Get me out of this chair! God damn it! Let me go! Get me out of this chair! Let me go! Let me go! God damn it! God. Kill her. What the hell's wrong with you? What is wrong with you guys? I'm not gonna cover this up now. What's wrong with you guys? Kill Aunt Myrtle to go fuck herself! Get out of the door! <laughs> 